I was in the third class of women at Harvard Business School. It was in 1965. Uh, there were 11 women. They put three of us in some of the sections, two of us in others, so that we had someone else that looked like us. There were no female professors, and they didn't come around for a long time. Inside, it was tough, but it was probably the most formative time in my entire life, and had I not gone to Harvard Business School, I would not have anywhere near the career. Sense of confidence, sense of self, sense of that I could do anything I wanted. Recruiting and getting a job was difficult, but I did get one at a small investment bank and then realized that I really wanted to help people and there was something missing and then applied to medical schools, got into Harvard. So after I graduated from Harvard Medical School and did six more years of training, I worked as a physician in private practice in New York City and I was on the staff of New York Hospital. The combination of the medicine and the business degrees and experience was really valuable in healthcare investing. When I invested in the first LASIK laser, that was in the 80s, and that was revolutionary at that time. So I've invested across the whole spectrum of healthcare, including biotech, pharma, devices, and healthcare services. I've always invested in healthcare since that's what I really know. Here at KBL, we have a very cohesive group that are helping me look for investments in my public fund. And the beauty of my office is that it's in my home. We have lunch together every day and it's a wonderful team that I've put together, probably the best I've ever had. KBL Healthcare and its various funds has had over $500 million uh, in investments and I was the CEO of all of the funds. And I love being in charge. <laughs> the other impact of Harvard Business School and my experience was that it made me a feminist. I got involved with a group of women to set up a grassroots organization to support women's causes. One of the key people in that organization, the key person was Gloria Steinem. The Women's Action Alliance wanted to develop a publication to talk about what we were doing, and that became Ms. Magazine. When I graduated, Harvard Business School and even into the 70s, women could not walk into the front door of the Harvard Club. There was a separate entrance, there was a separate dining room, and these were women who had graduated Harvard. We could not walk in the front door of the Harvard Club. So I was part of a class action suit that sued the Harvard Club so that we could walk in the front door. Eventually we won, and so my daughters can walk in the front door of the Harvard Club now. You can have many careers in a lifetime. There's room in our lives for a lot of different experiences, and I think people should just grab opportunities.